Hello, welcome to the video on data federation. Now, data federation is something that when we look at our kind of architecture, and especially when we look at larger organizations, is something that will come into play due to the fact that large organizations will often have multiple local LAN Super Classic installations that are kind of separated from each other um, to ensure that the data is separated as well. Um, now, in order to get that one single overview of all of, the all of that data, that's why we have the Data Federation in LandSweeper. Now, you can connect all of those LandSweeper Classic installations with your LandSweeper Cloud site, and that way, all of the data gets combined into one place, one location, where you can then view all of it combined and make sure that you have the proper access management as well. Now, to kind of show you what this looks like, we're going to head into the product itself and show you exactly what you can do and what it looks like. So here in LandSuper, we're on kind of a quite basic demo environment. Um, I'm actually going to go over to scanning and then to scan servers. This is where you get an overview of all of the scan servers um, that are connected to your site. As you can see here, since this is kind of a basic version, if you just have one LAN super installation, this is what you'll see. It'll just be one scanning server, which means you know there's in this case, there's no data federation taking place because it's all coming from one single location. Now, if I jump over to a site that does have data federation, where we do have multiple installations connected, you'll see that it looks quite different. Um, so in this case, we actually have two LandSweeper IT installations connected to this site and also two OT, inst OT installations connected. Um, so that way we actually combining quite a lot of information here. Um, now, not only, you can not only see this here on the scanning server overview, but there's also other places. So I'm going to go through kind of all the places you can see all this information. Um, obviously, if you go to scanning activity, you can see what each uh, installation here is doing and what kind of syncing process is going on, etc. cetera. Um, but also, if you head over to your inventory, um, you'll have a default kind of filter here that's called installations that you can also use to filter your assets based on the installation that they're coming from. So if I want to view all of the assets coming from my home lab, I can do that and take a look here where I can see my own personal computer at home and all of some of the other devices as well. Um, or then if I want to switch to my actual demo environment, I can just filter on that and kind of get all of the information I have from my demo environment here. Now, the last area that's quite important to this is configuration. Um, so in configuration, you also have the installation area where you can see kind of all the technical details of your installations that are linked. So I can see here, obviously, you can see the sync status of all of my installations. Um, I can see what version they're on, also the type. This makes it a bit easier to distinguish between, okay, what's IT and what's OT. Um, so you can see here, as I mentioned, I've got two OT ones connected, two IT ones connected. You can see how many assets, when the last full sync was, and also the description if you added one so just to make sure that you can distinguish uh, specifically what's what. Now, lastly, we also have archived installations um, that you can view. So if you do kind of disconnect your uh, your on-premises, your Land Super Classic installation from cloud, and you can kind of archive the data itself um, or, or delete it as well. Um, so that's listed there. And then below that, we have the two installers. So if you do want to add additional installations, um, additional classic installations to your Land Super site, you can do that by downloading either the IT installer or if you want to add an extra OT uh, components to it as well and link your OT to your LAN super site, you can do that as well with the OT installer. Um, now regarding kind of the whole setup of this and how do you set up extra scanning servers, extra installations that you can then link to cloud, um, that's all kind of listed in the knowledge base itself. So for all kind of details on how to's, things like that, I would refer to the KB. Where you can find step-by-step -step instructions on how to do all of that. Um, and with that, uh, I think we've covered everything here and you can learn more in the next video.